In this video we're going to complete example one. We're going to write down the following fractions using words. So when we start with question A, which is 1 over 6, the first step is just to write down whatever number is the numerator. So in this case the numerator is the number 1. And then we put our hyphen down and we write our denominator second. Our denominator is 6, but when we write the denominator we need to put th at the end of it. We pronounce this 1 sixth. Now we're going to follow these same rules for question B, so it's going to change a little bit. So first we write down the numerator which is 2, then a hyphen, then we write down the denominator which in this case is 5. And we always put a th at the end of it, but this is one of those situations where they didn't like the spelling and they changed it. They didn't want to pronounce it 2 fifths, we need to put an s at the end of it because this is a plural. There's more than one of them, there's two of them. So instead of two fifths, they wanted to pronounce it two fifths, and they changed the spelling. They took the VE out and they put an F in. Let's now move on to question C, starting the process by writing down the numerator, which is one, and then our hyphen. Now we don't write tooth. When it's the number two for a denominator, we say it's a half. So we're going to say one half. Okay, let's now move on to question D. The numerator is 2, so we write that down, 2, then our hyphen, and when we have the number 3, we also don't like to say th threeth. It just sounds really weird. So when it's a 3, they want you to say third or thirds, two thirds. Now moving on to question E. Now you could argue that there's two solutions here. We start with our numerator, which is 3, and then the number below that is 4. So we could say, well, you put a 4 down and end it with a th. Now, we don't generally say 3 fourths. Sorry, I need an s there in the English language. It's not the end of the world to say that, but we like to say 3 quarters. We just have a special word that we like to use, quarters, for a denominator of 4. All right, so I'll put a tick next to it. That's the one you want to say. Next, we're moving on to question F. Following the same process again, the numerator is 11. So we state that first, 11, and then a hyphen, and the denominator is 100, or a 100. So we just write 100, and we add a th, and we it's a plural, so we need to put an s there as well. So it's just pronounced 11 hundreds. Anyway, that concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.